All right. So I'm going to tell you guys why the Lakers are going to beat the Golden State Warriors. Um, game four was last night. And what you see is what you get. And, you know, there comes a time <clears throat> when <clears throat> there comes a time when you do something and then it's not effective no more. Um, individuals, uh, companies that used to make eight track tape players. I mean, can you imagine what happened when the person walked into a manager's office and said, I'm on to the next best thing, cassette tapes. <laughs> Why, why would we why would we deal with this thing it's smaller and it, 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 it you can it, you can portableize it then we had the Sony Walkman then the next great thing the iPad or the I don't know what the little device was the, the Sony the Sony uh I forgot the name of it but you have 5,000 songs in it I apologize I'm just thought about that analogy, so wasn't thought about. And um, so we we're Michael Jordan, as great as he was, his time was up. And the war when I look at the Warriors, when I look at the Warriors, I I see Steph Curry making shots like he did when the game didn't depend on it and here's what I mean when Steph Curry developed into the great player that he was as much as people think he was he wasn't the primary piece of the offense now as time went on JaVale McGee is not there no more um, I forgot the names of the guys, so forgive me. But the defensive individuals, they're not there no more. So they're like, well, we don't need that because Steph can just shoot from anywhere. Well, we don't need JaVel McGee to clog up the paint because Steph shoots from the outside anyway. It don't matter. And look what's happening. Now, every three-pointer that Steph make is a three-pointer that's needed. And that is why the Golden State Warriors is going to lose this series. They need to go back to the fundamentals of basketball and add Steph Curry's three-point shooting as a, 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 a um, as a compliment to it. That's why the Lakers is being successful. They're the only ones playing traditional basketball as we knew it in the United States because they didn't play that way over in Europe. They're the only ones playing traditional basketball as we knew it in the, in the United States with the center. And look how, how Anthony Davis is looking. Anthony Davis is looking like he looking because there's nobody else to compare a center like that playing to. How did the Lakers get to where they got? They, they with Shaq, and then when Shaq left, they got they 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 won. But you gotta you gotta have it's called protecting the rim. You gotta have rim protection. Why rim protection? Because that's what other team get their points. And I just look at the way Steph Curry is playing, and it's like, bruh, five, six years ago, that all that you're doing now is why y'all was blowing teams out. Now they just got rid of everybody and depended on that. It doesn't work like that. I'm listen, I have a BMW 850, 12 cylinder engine, right? But right now I'm driving in a Nissan Leaf, fully electric automobile. Why do you think I don't drive my 850 as much as I drive this car? People, um, I just left my house. I'm on 99% charge. When I pulled out my driveway, I was on 100%. I'm down to 99%. Every morning I get up to take off, my car is on equivalent to what they call a full tank. Why would I want to drive an 850, which I damn near got to stop at every damn gas station, 
blow my damn uh, uh, income up because I want to put gas in it as opposed to being more practical. So the eight, my point is the 850 is a complimentary. It's a complimentary car. All the miles, because I don't pay nothing for gas, goes on this car. And that is why the Lakers are going to win this series. Excuse me. The look on um, Clay Thompson's face when he misses a shot now says it all. Steph Curry on his post game interview says it all. You cannot keep thinking that Lob, I mean, he even said it. He even said it in his post game. It was a bad shot, but I, I I took a lot of bad shots and made them before. He even said it. He said it. I don't know if y'all understand, but Steph Curry is 35. He's 35. Isn't he? Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna make sure. I think Steph Curry is 35. How old is NBA superstar Steph Curry? Yeah, he's 35. Yeah, he's 35. LeBron James, the one they call the old man, is 38. LeBron James got more wear on his body, even though there's only a three a, a, a three year age difference. Do you think? LeBron James uh, got three years worth of wear? No. Steph shot threes from the outside. LeBron James, in his, in his earlier parts of his career, he stayed in the paint. And what my point is, you're not going to keep thinking, as he said last night, as he said last night, it was a bad shot, but it ain't a shot that I made before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then uh, um, they were talking about it this morning. The new They are a $400 million team. I don't think there's any other teams in the NBA with a $400 million pay, uh, salary. This team, it's over. And that to me, to me, when they got rid of JaVel McGee, I said to myself, what are they thinking? They got a team, the Golden State Warriors right now is a team predicated on their backcourt. The Lakers is a team predicated on their front court. Which one you think on win? Which 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 place is easier to score, the front court or the back court? For those that said it's easier to score in the front court, two points for you. You you want to be a back court shooting team? Good. You just need some marksmen. You better have some shooters. And Steph Clay and uh, Steph Curry, they are that. But now you got individuals coming out there to contest your contest your three and you ain't got nobody to throw it into you don't have it it, it it's over it's over I, I i i i want lebron to win and but that ain't the reason why i'm saying all this um i just and 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 i <laughs> and here's the deal i'm not a sports guy but if I see that and can point it out, if I can see that and point it out, then it is obvious. It's obvious. Um, here, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say something in parallel. I'm gonna throw this in there. I'm gonna say something that's parallel. I, I, I'll be 55 this year. And today is the eighth. Today is the ninth. 
Today is the 9th of May, 2023, right? This is the first time in my life where I'm relaxing. I've never relaxed in my life like I relax now. Never, ever. I never, ever just woke up and said, I'm not gonna leave the house today like I do now. I am teaching myself how to just stand still, stay home, do some stretching exercise, do some curls and just relax, right? Where am I going with this? There's a flip side to me understanding, which is I'm getting old and I have to start understanding that before I have to start understanding this before I wake up one day and can't get out the damn bed. I'm getting old. And as much as I like to say that I work out, as much as I like to say that two years ago I was I was dating an 18 year old, you know, she was just a chick that came over my house for some fun, uh, you know, um, uh, much as I, I like to say that, like.